Now to our other big story this morning, COVID-19 in Arizona. Right now, we know case counts are up. There are new incentives for Arizonans to get back. And international leaders voicing concerns about traveling again. All right, let's start with the rise in COVID cases. After a small dip in new cases yesterday, the state is back to reporting more than 3,200 new confirmed cases. 81 new deaths also reported. Hospitals across the valley say their emergency rooms are now packed and seeing more patients every day. Right now, around 74% of ICU beds are in use. And for the snowbirds out there, if you're here from Canada, the country's leaders issuing an advisory over the Omicron variant. Officials encouraging all Canadians to avoid any non-essential international travel. This comes after the country just lifted travel restrictions a few weeks ago. Well, listen to this. Phoenix City Council just approved bonuses up to $2,000 for city employees who get the COVID vaccine. This comes just days after leaders paused a vaccine mandate on city workers. The city plans to spend up to 29 million of its federal COVID relief funding on rewarding awarding bonuses to eligible workers. Full-time employees will receive $500 and those who are fully vaccinated by January 18th will get an extra 1500 bucks. Part-time vaccinated workers will get up to $1,000. City records show the incentives will be funded through the $396 million Phoenix was allocated through the American Rescue Plan Act.